Hey guys, I'm gonna make a how-to video on how to change a pickup out on a humbucking guitar. I already started this installation video because well, I was trying to I was trying to do the first part of it already, and I went over 10 minutes, so I can't upload the video. I went to like 15, whatever. It's annoying. So I need to set a timer so I don't go over on time. Uh, so basically, what I've done so far is I took the uh, stop bar tail piece out. First thing was I loosen the strings, right? This piece, this bridge goes on here. First thing I did was loosen the strings on the guitar up, up at the tuning machines. Now, if I wasn't going to be changing out the tuning machines, I'm going to switch them right now. I would have just loosened them enough to where this stop bar tailpiece can be pulled off of the off of the mounting strip, mounting studs. All right. I would have just loosened it enough to where I get it over and just took this out of the way and left it connected. That way, I wouldn't have to mess around with putting the you know strings back on the tuners. So, but I'm changing the tuners. That's why I took it off. So, bridge slides right off these two studs right here. Boom. <clears throat> I already took the pickup out, but I'll give you a basic idea of how I did it. Somebody asked me to do, uh, they, they were wondering about pickup changes on an Epiphone, so that's why I'm doing this. Because I learned, I learned through the same kind of how-to videos, and I've, I want to feel like I'm giving back to, because I appreciate all the help that I got off, off people doing videos like this. So. This wire runs runs through to the back. It came through where this where the white wire is. I took this white wire and pulled it through. I guess I pulled it through this way, so that way when I get my new pickup wires here, I just I pull them. I can pull them back through using this wire. I'll show you. Okay, so this white wire. All I did was thread this through. It came through, and it was soldered on. This is going to be hard to see because this is a crappy camera and the lighting's not great for recording. But so. The, the pickup wire came through and it was soldered to two points. It was soldered right here for the ground and it was soldered right here for the lead. The hot, there's only two wires on this pickup. It's a two conductor wire pickup. So it's got an, an output and a ground. Okay. This is the bridge pot. If you're just changing pickups, it's as simple as that. You just change out this and this. If you're changing uh, potentiometers too and caps, it would be a whole different. You'd have to just start from scratch. I'd recommend taking a piece of cardboard if you're doing the whole thing and cutting holes in it in this exact orientation. Like just take a piece of cardboard, cut four holes, one here, one here, one here, one here, and you know, mount your new pots in those holes so they're the same distance apart as these, you know. And it gives you an orientation and then go from, you know, each wire to each wire. You go inside here and look and see, okay, I need a wire that goes from say here to wherever and you go ahead and wire yourself that wire and you move to the next one and just mirror image this to what you have on cardboard that's how I'd recommend doing it if you're if you're new at it otherwise you know you know where what needs to go where so anyway what I did was I unsoldered the two connections of the ground and then the lead and as I was pulling the pickup wire through I went ahead and taped this wire to the wires that came off the pickup I just used masking tape and taped it tight and then as I pulled through on the other side, this wire came in. That way I'm going to use it to pull the pickup wire back through this way, okay? That's where I'm at. So annoying that I went over on time on the last video. A lot of time wasted. Okay. I don't have any editing software. So, my new pickup. Yes. Angus Young Signature. Real spicy. Let's get into it. Let's open it up. Kids, don't try this at home. Don't use a soldering iron. It should only be done by trained professionals. It's my disclaimer. Oh, it's sexy, isn't it? Okay. Unwind it. This is a four conductor pickup. So, wiring this, you'd want to go to the Gibson website or use the diagram they give you to show you how to do it. It's going to go, oh nice, they already have it all set. So, the green and white go together, I'm pretty sure. The red is the output wire. The 
green and white get twisted together and taped off. So I'm going to take those off, twist them up, pull it over. Put a little bit of solder on that connection. Let's go ahead and touch the solder to your soldering iron. Now the soldering iron is getting old. I think I need to replace it. Melt your solder. Be careful. You shouldn't work on your lap either. I don't have a workbench right now, so I play with fire. Very careful. This stuff will burn you. Get it on your leg. You don't want to get it on your guitar body either. Nice, yeah, that'll hold. After you do that, this is the instructions that Gibson gave me. On a Seymour Duncan or something like that, I think you you put the the red and the white wires together. No, it's the green and the bare wire you put together, and then the red and the white you put together, and then the black one's the lead on a Seymour Duncan. It's a little different. You just gotta go figure out which you know, which whatever pickup you get, how it's meant to be wired. So I'm going to use a little electrical tape, tape this connection off. I'm not, I'm not messing around with putting a push-pull pod on this. I don't really care about single coil sounds through the bridge on my SG, whatever. I've got a, I've got a Strat. I don't really care about all that. Okay, the green and white go together. The red, this is your hot, your lead. And black and the open wire go together Just twist them together at the end fold it fold it so they don't come apart very easily you can even throw more twists on it after that hope you can see it's tough to do this video by myself I don't have a camera stand solder Melt some solder on the tip of your soldering iron. Again, don't try this at home unless you're professional. You'll burn yourself. It's hot. Okay, got some solder there, hold them together. Now I'll throw some tape around that. I'm going to do a part two so I don't run over on time, so uh, check it out. It'll be in the